Hello friends and welcome to today's video, which is all about the Thai Bomber or Thai SA for surface assault. We're going to be looking at some ship customization, as you can see I've already dived into some stuff here. So without me talking anymore, let's just get into it. So let's take a closer look at the Thai Bomber or Thai SA. As we all know, it's slower, a little clunkier than the TIE Fighter, TIE Interceptor, and as well the Reaper. But that's okay, because of the increased armor and explosive arsenal it has. As you can see, we've already have some adjustments to my uh, ship here, such as max hull is up a thousand, max speed is up as well, acceleration and maneuverability are down. But why? So let's look at first my weapon layout and why I chose these. First up, we went with the rotary cannon. The reason why I like this is this a short wind up time and it just fires extremely quickly. So it's like a minigun in space. The max DPS is 766.7, which is fantastic. So this is ideal if you want to just hit and hit and hit and hit and not worry about missing. Compared to the stock weaponry, which is just a standard laser cannon, it's good, but I just find it doesn't hit as hard, which is why I went with the rotary cannon. So let's take a quick look at some of the damage the rotary cannon can do. See, this is why Rotary Cannon is king. Next, Auxiliary. So you have a right and left Auxiliary, which can do many things. Some people roll with shields, which is the standard loadout. The Assault Shield does help, and that's when you are attacking front on capital ships, or you're in a tight situation trying to get back to your ship so you don't die. So I personally love the Sinar Goliath missile. This always explodes with a huge blast, and it is delicious. Whether it hits a ship or countermeasures, it's always going to do a fun explosion. And, as you can see... I think they're shooting at me! I hate when they do that! Well done, Titan 3! They closed doors! <laughs> Wowie, beautiful. Whether you're hitting a player or hitting AIs, it's always satisfactory. This is great when you're uh, going against a large squad of players that are bunched up together in a dogfight, or you're just trying to take down AI players to destroy morale in dogfights. Next up, I have the Sinar MR-93 Multi-Lock Missile. This is wild. You can lock up to five targets. Yes, five. I thought it was initially four before I did this video, but after doing some recording in game, I was able to lock up the five AI players at once, including some players. So this is an absolute squadron killer, especially when you're doing dogfights on maps like Yavin, where ships are going head to head right off the bat. You get an auto lock from such a far distance. It's fantastic. So you're getting a thousand meter lock distance on this as well. And capacity is five, as we talked about. Next, I have the Sanar XX55 Seeker Warheads. Ammo capacity is up to four, and it can hit up to two targets. So if you're getting a little bamboozled by some A-wings or X-wings, you got that covering you. Lastly, why my health is so high? I used a reinforced hull, so this gives me 60% more health. It is a deduction on the acceleration maneuverability, but that allows me to be more tanky and do more damage for a longer time. Unstable twin engine. So this is where my max speed and acceleration get a little kickback, but I lose some of that health that I gained. I'm fine with this just because of what happens when I die. So if I do get shot down by some rebel scum, this will explode upon death in an AoE-like effect, and it can take up players if they're too close. So if those A-wings get a little zesty and fly through your body, they might just get it. And that, friends, is a quick review of what I feel is the best loadout for the TIE Bomber. Again, it's up to you to fly with what feels best and how you like it. 
really, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to show you what I do and works for me. So let me know if you liked this video. If you did, feel free to leave a comment below. Let us know. I'll be doing some other videos for the TIE Interceptor, TIE Fighter, Reaper, as well as the Rebellion ships. But I gotta start with the Empire first. Thanks again, friends, and we'll see you in the next video.